Hi everyone. Today Ayatha, and, Fathima, students of grade 12, will be presenting the chemistry presentation. Today we will be talking about, HPLC and GC. HPLC stands for, High Performance Liquid Chromatography. High-performance liquid chromatography is a technique in analytical chemistry used to separate, identify, and quantify each component in a mixture. It relies on pumps to pass a pressurized liquid solvent containing the sample mixture through a column filled with a solid adsorbent material. Each component in the sample interacts slightly differently with the adsorbent material, causing different flow rates for the different components and leading to the separation of the components as they flow out the column. Now let's watch a video, to understand more about their, HPLC. Hi, so my name is Amy and I'm going to be showing you how to do an injection using an HPLC system. HPLC stands for High Performance Liquid Chromatography or High Pressure and the instrumentation is composed of three fundamental elements. You have your liquid chromatography pump which provides your high pressure, um, your column which provides your separation so this is your HPLC column and your detector of course. Um, another important part in any type of liquid chromatography is your injection port, which is very convenient because it helps you inject a consistent volume every time. So it's really straightforward. Usually your detector will already be set up. Today we're going to be using uh, a diode array detector, but we'll be using UV vis absorbance. Some other forms of HPLCs will be connected to a computer or you have some software, but um, this guy is connected to an integrator, which is kind of old, but very rugged. So I'm going to show you quickly how to do an injection. And your chromatographs can take from 5 minutes to 10 minutes. So the first thing you want to do, you'll find you have a 50 microliter syringe. So you're just going to make sure you rinse your syringe three times to remove any uh, contaminants that may interfere with your analysis. So once that's clean, you're also going to rinse with your um, standard sample solution to make sure it is of, of a consistent concentration. So that you can rinse about once or twice. Usually there's not too much to spare. Ooh. One thing you just want to make sure before you inject your sample is to make sure your injection port is in the load position which is not too confusing because there's two positions. It's either load or inject. Load meaning you're going to load your standard or your sample solution into your sample port. So right here it's labeled that it's 20 microliters. So just to make sure it's completely filled, um, I'm going to in use 50 microliters to inject into the sample loop to ensure that it is in completely filled. You also want to make sure you don't inject any air bubbles because it causes a lot of um, back pressure and errors in your injection. So if you just gently put it into the injection port, leaving the syringe in, it's a little awkward, but you leave it in and just load in your sample. Leaving the syringe in still, once this has been in, you can be pretty confident that you filled your sample loop with 20 microliters if you're not too sure, there's a little waste bucket at the end, you'll see a bit of a drop. So now with everything up and running, the next thing you want to do is to turn this um, knob 
into the inject position while pushing run method. This syncs your sample loading into the HPL system with the detector running at the same time. So that way your times and your chromatograms, which are pretty important when you're talking about um, retention times, which are helpful in indicating what your compounds are, you just want to make sure that you're consistent every time. So it's okay if they're not exactly uh, right on point with one another, but if you do it the same time every time, it should remove that form of error. So it's just about a quarter of a turn. A lot of people expect more. So it's just a matter of turning, and once it hits the inject, you want to hit run method. So once you've injected your sample and press run method, um, about 50% of the time, this run method starts the integrator. But if it hasn't started, this light that's blinking saying uh, run A is a good indication that it's running. If it hasn't started, simply press inject A and it'll start recording. The same button also stops your chromatogram and then you get all your peak data that you'll need to do for your quantitative analysis. So when you wait uh, about 15 seconds after you've gone to the inject to remove the syringe, you want to carefully put it back to the load position and pull out the syringe. Now that you've removed the syringe and you ensure that your chromatogram is running, you can now perform an HPLC injection. GC stands for gas chromatography. Gas chromatography is a common type of chromatography used in analytical chemistry for separating and analyzing compounds that can be vaporized without decomposition. Typical uses of GC include testing the purity of a particular substance, or separating the different components of a mixture. The relative amounts of such components can also be determined. In some situations, GC may help in identifying a compound. In preparative chromatography, GC can be used to prepare pure compounds from a mixture. Now let's watch an animation to understand more about GC.
That was the end of the presentation. Thank you for watching, please subscribe for more amazing videos.